어? In, in 3D printing, uh, uh, and I think it has to do with there's one dimension extra you have to take care of, next to materials, next to what you want to be used for it. So, I don't think that will happen uh, in, in five years' time. Uh, eventually, we will we will get there, but what it will be in in, in the form factor as we know it right now, I'm I'm not sure. I tend to think in terms of we, oh, we had those, uh, those, those copy shops in the streets, in the main streets, remember? Mm -hmm. Where you had to bring your USB stick to and then you can do a print job and then go home. So all those copy shops disappeared. Uh, I think we will move to such a situation as well. There will be, there will be 3D, 3D print shops, the materialized, but then more down to earth. Um, ending up uh, with households printing their own stuff. And there's a real trick, because printing may be quite straightforward and simple, it's all about the designs. You could get familiar to using the machine, but and that, that their, sets, uh, their education sets in, that's why it's important we, we teach children what, it, what, what the industry takes and what, it, what it's all about. Designing a part, that, that's, that's the real trouble. So you have an idea. You have to put it in a, in a software package, digitalization, you have to put it in a software package and then send it to a printer. And I think the biggest hurdle at the time to be is, is this, 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 this file, this designing, because that's a piece of art. No, it's going to be, and I know it's, 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 it's a hype term, uh, uh, but, but I think uh, almost convinced it's going to be uh, it's going to be disruptive. As uh, think about it, uh, being able to print uh, uh, where you need the object, the, the location, uh, whether it's a factory in Netherlands or, or, or a household somewhere in Italy, you can do it on demand. You can do it on the, on the spot. You can do it at the moment you need the the, 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 the part or what, whatever it is. So there's no logistical costs anymore. There's no distribution anymore. There is no stock keeping anymore, there is no... So all, these, the, all this money falls free to spend on, and I think it will, it's going to be a more uh, creative kind of, 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 of economy. Uh, this is some thinking. Imagine what will happen to China as we outsource all production capacity to China and injection molding and stuff. What, what does it mean when all that capacity is, is suddenly becomes available in, in Europe? And what is the implication for the, for the labor market, for example? I think uh, manufacturing will change, for sure, because it's another technology. It will create some rumors and some, some difficulties, for sure. But uh, in the longer run, uh, when we have uh, educated people the right way and they know how to deal with it and they can work with it, uh, it's going to be a prosperous uh, uh, future. So it's going to be, that's what I'm trying to point out here is now being used to send everything to China, having to produce over there and sending it back by big tankers uh, of container ships, uh, now we're going to produce in Europe. what I believe yeah not next year <laughs> it's gonna take some time um, and, and some hurdles to take for sure uh, and technology is not standing still so there will be constantly evolvements and of, of what can be done um, but it's the disruptive uh, when it comes to the process of manufacturing that that's what I'm strongly believe strongly believe <laughs>